Yo, what is going on everyone in the crypto space? Don't want to take too much of your time. Just want to bust some quick FUD from the good old Weiss ratings uh, that definitely have their unbiased reviews on financial investments. Uh, these guys, 1992, they were blackmailing life insurance companies and then trying to meet with life insurance companies so they could take a little bribe, raise up the ratings, so then the life insurance company could get better results. And uh, the guy behind the company, by the way, did have securities law violations uh, about in 1970 to 1980. And pretty much, if you're wondering what this company does, they don't do anything. They don't provide a product. They don't provide a service. They, I mean, well, yeah, they provide a service, but they don't provide a good service. All they do is they sit here, they sit here on their chairs and go, hmm, not a good investment. Hmm, good investment. I, how these guys even have a following, I, I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead and read another statement. So, by the way, out of the two things I just mentioned, uh, they don't really, they really don't have credibility in traditional markets. They have a history of blackmailing and trying to get bribes uh, to get a little, get a little side cash. So, uh, let's go ahead and let's just discredit the two things that they already said. Um, so they're saying 78% say XRP is best coin for moving between exchanges. Uh, question, why aren't there more trading pairs on exchanges? Uh, if you have the mental capacity of a five-year-old, uh, you can come on to XRP, click on markets, and you can see all the pairs available for the currency. So again, I do not think they know what they're talking about. Uh, second thing, XRP settles with finality to three to five seconds. If fees were paid to validators instead of being burnt, it could quickly become one of the most decentralized and used DLTs in the world thanks to its popularity. Well, Weiss Ratings, I run a validator myself, so I think I can speak on this. Uh, and it's actually a, a verified, trusted validator. Um, here's the thing. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, it's kind of like fractions of a fraction of a fraction of a penny that gets burnt every transaction. So essentially, uh, let's say uh, they did want to hand out the XRP back to the validators. I really don't care about earning three to four XRP a month. Uh, it counts to nothing. Uh, futures value probably a lot, but right now that really doesn't account to much. So uh, honestly, at uh, least ratings as a validator, uh, I would like to say that I'm kind of glad XRP gets burnt because the the currency is actually deflationary, not inflationary like most cryptocurrencies. So again, uh, I don't get the real argument here that they're saying, oh, if they if they paid it out to the validators, uh, more people would use it. Well, here's a similar thing with mining: is that the reason why people mine is because they can make a profit on it. Uh, running a validator, you can't really profit from making a couple XRP a month. I don't think the whole community is going to be jumping off their horses wanting to get a validator up to get four XRP a month. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, the statements these guys make usually don't make much sense most of the time. Uh, they do usually critique traditional investing. They've lost their credibility there. They've tried to come into crypto and rate cryptocurrency. They've lost their credibility credibility there. Anyways, and, and the thing is, is like these people, these people who transition, I don't care, like a service product, an opinion or whatever that transfer from traditional to crypto, they usually don't get crypto because it's so much different than traditional investing. And you can't do like two hours of research and understand a cryptocurrency. It takes a lengthy amount of time. And I mean, just a lot of time and focus. I've been researching Ripple and XRP about over the last year. Uh, or just about over a year, and I still don't 100% understand the company and the currency and every single thing about it. So it really does take a lot of research to understand it. That's why they make these two ridiculous statements that just don't make sense. I mean, 170 pairs, and it's like, dude, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not tripping about three to four XRP a month. I don't, I honestly, I don't care. I'd, I would rather have that be burned. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. I didn't want to take too much of your time. Just want to bust some quick FUD and do not listen to anything these guys say about XRP and Ripple because they clearly do not understand. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check the links in the description to support the channel. Turn on the post notifications, never miss a video or stream. I'll see you guys in the next one.